Hey y'all, it's your girl Sashi E. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my wash day routine from start to finish. So first things first, I am going to completely saturate my hair. My hair has been under a wig for the past three weeks, y'all. So my hair was looking crazy, okay? So I am completely saturating my hair. And then once my hair is completely saturated, I am going to be following up with my shampoo. So this is the Pure Aloe Vera Shampoo. It's a clarifying shampoo from Curl Mix. Y'all, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite shampoo because it does not leave my hair feeling stripped or dry. It is very creamy, very moisturizing, and it works perfectly for my hair. I do like to double cleanse whenever I do shampoo my hair because for some reason, y'all, my first shampoos are never that great. It's always the second shampoo that really gets all the dirt and the gunk out of my hair. So I do like to double cleanse to make sure that my hair is properly cleaned. Y'all leave me a comment down below and let me know if I'm the only one that has that problem. So right now I'm going in with that second shampoo. And as you guys can see, I have such an amazing lather with this. It looks like how it's supposed to look when you get a bomb shampoo. So now I'm just rinsing that out and I will proceed with my conditioning step. All right guys, so for my conditioning step, I'm going in with the Ever Straightening Brazilian Keratin Therapy Treatment from OGX. You guys, I love this stuff, okay? I've been using this for about six or so years now and I always go back to it. So when it comes to this conditioning step, I generally sometimes skip it, especially on my lazier wash days, um, but since my hair has not been touched for the past three weeks and it needs a lot of TLC and detangling, I decided to go in with this. This makes my hair feel like butter. So I usually apply it all over my hair first and then I put my hair in sections and apply a little bit more per section and then I proceed to detangle. So yeah guys, I am proceeding to detangle with my wide tooth comb. Sometimes I use a brush, sometimes I use a comb. It just really depends on the tool that I see first. But yeah guys, I am detangling from the ends of my hair and I'm working my way up to the roots. So I am taking my time because it has been three weeks since I last detangled my hair. So as far as the hair y'all, that's barely any hair for three weeks y'all um, that came out of that section. And I have still been using my aloe vera oil but i've also implemented amla oil into my routine you guys so if you guys have any issues with shedding definitely look into my aloe vera recipe and also look into buying amla oil that works so well when it comes to shedding All right guys, so this is my hair after conditioning. So now I am following up with my deep conditioner. This is the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. I have a whole tutorial on this hair mask, you guys. This is one of my go-to hair masks when I don't have the time to make something. I just grab this and use this. This is very lightweight. It's not very thick, kind of comes off a little bit watery-ish. Um, not very creamy um, and I think this is great for low porosity hair so I like to apply the deep conditioner all over my hair first and then I like to go section by section and apply more as needed my hair is already detangled from the conditioning step so I'm able to just apply this deep conditioner and just twist it up and be on my way
So whenever I do my deep conditioning routine, I do like to sit underneath a hooded dryer. So I proceed to put on a shower cap. I usually take a shower and then once I'm out of the shower, I sit underneath the hooded dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then that usually does the trick as far as getting my hair to where it needs to be. Alright guys, so now I'm following up with the Melanin Hair Care Leave-In Conditioner. Y'all, I've been really loving this leave-in conditioner as of lately. I've been definitely grabbing for it more than the others. And now I am going to add just a little bit of my amla oil to my hair before I proceed to blow dry my hair. So for this style, I would love to do a stretch twist out. So that is why I'm going to be blow drying. I don't really blow dry too often, but whenever I want my hair to be stretched without having to you know do the banded method or anything like that I usually tend to go for my blow dryer before twisting So as you guys can see, my hair has grown so much. I can't believe it's been a year and a half since my big chop. But anyways, I just wanted to show you guys my hair fully blow dried. Um, this is how it looks. And I also wanted to show you guys a length check. I think I'm at bra strap length now. So now I'm going in with the styling process. I'm gonna be using the Melanin Hair Care Twisting Cream. So y'all, this is my first time using it in this video and I absolutely love it. I've used it on wet hair um, since I did this video and it is very moisturizing it feels like shea butter on steroids like it's just a very amplified shea butter with a lot of oils and things like that and it works really well on dry hair as well as wet hair so I wanted to do small to medium twists because I knew I was going to keep the twists in for a while before I unraveled them. So I actually kept the twists in for almost a week, I want to say five to seven days, and um, it held up very, very well. So I did them quite fine and I also did them very tight. My twists are not loose at all and this helped with giving a lot of definition when it came time for me to unravel the twist. Alright guys, so as I said, it's been about a week, so I'm going in with my Lester's Pink Natural Oil Blends, and I'm going to put that on my hand and unravel my twist. As you guys can see, my twists do still look pretty good after it being in for almost one week. So this is my hair with all the twists out, and I did fluff my hair a little bit more off camera, and I think it looks pretty good, you guys, for it to be one week old twist. But yeah guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure sure to give me a thumbs up definitely leave me a comment let me know how you are feeling my wash day don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications i do post multiple times per week so definitely hit that bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye